Dana, well, the case obviously is a lightning rod of controversy across the country. Allegations of racial profiling have motivated thousands to rally, demanding the arrest of the neighborhood watchman George Zimmerman. The question some have, though, is, is the country jumping the gun on a situation when we don't have all the information? Reverend C.L. Bryan and CNN analyst Roland Martin are both out front tonight. And Reverend, let me start with you. Uh, you have made the comment um, that Reverend Al Sharpton and Reverend Jesse Jackson, both of whom now are involved in this situation, are, quote, exploiting the tragedy. What do you mean? Whenever there's something like this that occurs, like Tawana Bradley or the Duke lacrosse team, you can guarantee you that two faces will show up in order to heighten the tension in this type of situation. And they're usually Reverend Sharpton and Reverend Jackson. Our hearts do go out to this mother because she's lost a son who is 17 years old. That, though, is an issue that I do believe justice will find its way to remedy. Roland, how do you respond to that? I mean. Is there any is there anything to that concern about Reverend Sharpton? Here's the deal. Two million people have signed the change.org petition. Mm -hmm. And so Reverend Brian is taking issue with two folks. Were they the only people who were there? I was in Sanford yesterday. There were thousands of people there. Reverend Jamal Bryan of Baltimore was there. Mm -hmm. there, were, there were AME pastors. There were Catholic priests there. There were Baptist preachers there. And so if he has a personal problem with Reverend Sharpton and Jackson, that's his problem. But when you have two million people, when you have literally vigils and rallies in 50 cities across the country, these people aren't out there because of Reverend Jackson and Sharpton. They're out there because of the issue at hand. So I say you got a problem with them. That's your problem, Reverend Bryan. We're focused on this case. Reverend Brian? Let's have the same type of energy toward the young lady, the little girl who was killed on her doorsteps in Chicago who was six years old. Let's gather two million people and talk about the black on black crime that is going on. The most dangerous person uh, in the life of a young black man is another young black man. And the type of ideas that are spawned when we gather together over a white on black murder. And in fact, there's not an epidemic of white men killing black boys. There's an epidemic of black boys, black men killing black men. And all of them know that. And so let's focus the energy on solving the problem that happens every day, not and something that happens once in a while. Now here's what I find to be interesting, Aaron, because uh, Reverend, I went to your Twitter page and you've made no comment on anything since February 24th, not even the Chicago killings. You've made no comment on your Facebook page. I've checked news stories. The only comment that you've made about shootings in Chicago was when you were criticizing Reverend Sharpton and Jackson. So I say as a pastor, where are you? See, I get pastors who differ. Who differ. I know that the Apostle Paul differed with the disciple Peter, but where have you been? Are you in Chicago? Are you leading marches? Are you leading rallies? Are you stepping up? How weak is it to say what somebody else is not doing when you should be a leading voice? So have you been I've to paid, Chicago? I've paid my dues, and yes, I've no, 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 been no, no, to no. Chicago. There's no record I've been, let me where tell you, you have said no, no, a word. Let me answer let, your let, question. Let respond. Your question is, what dues have I paid? I've had the Klan and the skinheads after me That's not what I over asked. school busing 20-some years ago. Just, just this past month here where I live in Shreveport, in, in Louisiana, the skinheads and the Aryan Nation was trying to move into our area. That's not what I, I asked. along with other pastors, have in fact done that. Well, what we're doing, what we are doing is in fact trying to deal with a powder keg here that we need to keep this Top, the top on. Aaron, That's what no, we're trying Aaron, to do. But, Roland, Aaron, you what? haven't been looking. You haven't been looking at the right pages. You okay. Google C. L. Bryant. You'll Actually, see where I am. Well, hold, you hold, see on where I hold on one moment. Hold on one moment. This website. issue of Chicago. I understand you. Yeah. But you both differ on this issue of Chicago, and Roland has a fair point. But Roland, I want to ask you about something he, he raised. It, sure. We, Department of Justice, 2005. Half of all male homicide victims in this country are black. 52 percent. Absolutely. 93 percent of the of the killers in those homicides were black. Shouldn't we be doing something about that, too? Well, first of all, there are people who are doing that. And look, I've run three black newspapers. I run a national black website. I have a Sunday morning show on a black cable network. And so there are people who are doing that. Mm -hmm. But here's the point I'm making. Right. That's a different argument to say, what are we doing about that? 
when Reverend Brian wants to specifically criticize Sharpton and Jackson. All I'm saying is he hasn't said a word about the shootings in Chicago until he criticized Sharpton and Jackson. And all I'm saying, Reverend Brian, I can guarantee you that James Meeks, Charles Jenkins, I guarantee you that uh, a Reverend Clay, a number of those pastors in Chicago will love to hear from you. So don't just sit here and waste time criticizing Reverend Sharpton and Jackson. I say not what you did well, four years ago. One, one, second, one second, sir. You specifically called them out about the shootings in Chicago and Newark, yet you are not on the record, even on your own website, of saying or doing anything. So here's what I say. You let well, me let know. Me go no, 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 no. Let me go on record. Let me go on second. record tonight. Finish Reverend. your sentence and I'll then let him respond. This here. No, no. You, let Reverend, me go on record tonight. You let me tonight. know when you go to Chicago and I will see you there when you want to discuss black on black violence in Chicago. Just let me know when. Well, let me, let me do this. Let me go on record tonight and say let's put your ideology on the table. No problem. And let's put my ideology on the table. I'm just saying you I call let it, let it you out wrong. tonight. We can meet in Chicago. We can meet in Newark. And let's see whose ideology best okay. suits the traditional core values of a, a black American people. Let's see whose ideas stand the mustard. And I do accept whatever challenge you have, but I throw down the gauntlet tonight. Let us have a test sure. of the different ideologies, liberal and black conservative. All right, well, you know Let's what, can I, ask, can I ask you both? That's pretty funny, Please, considering I'm not a liberal uh, Christian, but go right ahead. Well, I want, when you both go, <laughs> whether you go to Chicago, you go to Newark, no, come back I, here no, and let's, I'm, and I'm let's continue this conversation, well, let's okay? let's see if he shows up. I'm going to trust you both when I you will both show come up out. Where okay. do you need right, me to Reverend? show okay. up to have okay. this no, conversation? No, no. You're going to call Jackson and Sharpton out? You show up. All right. I will show up. I've been calling Reverend Jackson and Sharpton out for a long and time. And that's why you're I grew here. Up in the it's all about them. I grew it's up in the, the segregated okay. gated South. I remember Negro okay. Day in okay. the South. I've paid my dues in the South. My, my grandfather said he didn't go through what he went through so I could be black. He went through what he went through so I could be free. Gotcha. Okay. Free to say what I want to say, right. talk gotcha. to who I want to talk to, and go where I want to go. And I will see you both then in Chicago Not or Newark. You're going to come on this show. All right. Thank you very much to both of you. Appreciate and please, everyone, let us know what you think about that conversation on Twitter.